welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to do a video of my three to six month baby essentials. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I have a little boy called Joel who is four months old. He was born on the 9th of July. So this is going to be a video of the things that we are absolutely loving and can't live without since he turned about 12 weeks old. So if you haven't done so already, I would be so, so grateful if you could hit the subscribe button down below and come and join me over here. I try to upload twice a week with all things motherhood. And without further ado, because he's only gonna be asleep for about 20 minutes, let's get into the video. So the first one is teething toys. But there are so many different teething toys on the market, so, and we do actually have quite a few at home. So these are the ones that I have personally found are the best. Obviously at this age, um, from probably about like 10 weeks onwards, babies start dribbling everywhere. And then once they get to three months, it does get worse um, because they're showing obviously the early signs of teething. Um, their gums are starting to hurt. Even if no teeth come through to like six, seven months, you're gonna notice from about 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks onwards, the dribble and the um, wanting to chew on things constantly is just awful. So, we got gifted a couple of um, teething toys over on Instagram, which I'm loving, but these are the ones that we've got that I think are the easiest for him to pick up and hold at his current age. So, Sophie the Giraffe, I can't recommend highly enough. I think this was a gift when he was born from one of our friends. It does squeak as well, so it doubles off as like a normal toy. Um, but I keep this on his changing mat in his nursery, so whenever I'm changing him, he can just be holding this. Obviously, it's got a very thin neck, so it's easy for them to grab onto, and then it's got like little ears and stuff like that, so things that are easy to get in their mouth and chew on. He chews on the little feet as well, so this is fantastic. We then also have the teething ring version of Sophie Giraffe. Again, this was a gift from a friend, and it's got the little bits on it um, that they can chew on, as well as all of these bits as well, so that is another really good one to get. And then lastly, um, the other one I'd really recommend is the Newbie Shark. So again, this is really small, easy for them to pick up and pop in their mouth. And it's got like little soft bits there, which are really nice on their gums. So they are the three main teethers um, out of all the ones we have that we love and use every day. So next up, when they get to this age, they start um, being a bit more awake when you are out and about so every time we used to go out he would be fast asleep in the car seat that is not the case anymore so i would highly recommend at this stage getting some sort of um car seat toys for baby if you haven't done so already um so these are the ones like my top ones that i recommend this is um one of the lemay's toys this was in my christmas gift guide as well because i just think it would make such a good christmas present for babies of like three months onwards since he got to about three months, he is obsessed. This is his favorite toy. It's a really good like multi-sensory toy. So the back is black and white, which is really good for their developing vision. It's really crinkly, this bit squeaks. It's just got so many different bits on it for baby to grab hold of. And then also it's got this um, clip on it so you can hang it on the play mat, you can hang it on the car seat. It fits in your changing bag. So this would be a good one to have in the car. We also have, um, this normally just stays on our play mat or I'll take it in my changing bag when I go out. But in the car, we have a yellow lion version, a bit like this. Um, so I just wanted to show you this one as an example, but we have a different one in the car. But this is a great um, car seat toy for when you're traveling. And then this is the other car seat toy that I would recommend. And again, this is brilliant. Oh, didn't mean to press that, but that's what it does. So this is another one that would be great to um, pop around a play mat as well. So we kind of tie this in between the two um, like bits that come down on the play mat. But we've also used this in the car on long journeys. So this is the Bright Start, um, I think it's called a sound bar. And these are 9.99 on Amazon or Argos. Um, and like I said, that one pushes in and it's got lights that flash and it plays different sounds and music. And then these um, all spin around so baby can hit them and they've just got like different rattly bits on. He loves this. Didn't need to press it again, keep doing it. Um, he loves this. So um, if you are looking for like a really sort of interactive, like musical toy um, for the car, this is a really, really good one to get. So as I mentioned earlier, um, they do start showing the early signs of teething at this age, um, which means a lot of dribble and outfits getting ruined. So the bandana um, like dribble bibs are really, really good for when they are this age and they look like part of the outfit. That's why I really like them. You can get loads of different designs, but these are my two personal favorites that we've got. 
So these came in a pack of two and they are from um, a little company called All For Ella. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous and they're reversible as well. So that one's grey um, with like stripes on the other side. And then this one has got black on one side and then this gorgeous safari print on the other side. So these um, are really, really thick and good quality. Um, and like I said, I love the fact that they are reversible. So you can get loads of bibs like this out there, but um, dribble bibs are an absolute essential for babies that are um, like from three months old. So the next thing on my list that we um, would really, really recommend when they get to about four months plus um, is changing your bath wedge to like a more of a sit-up seat. So we were using this, which is the Angel Care bath wedge, but now his head comes up to like here, so he's very nearly outgrown it. So we swapped it for this one, um, which is the Safety First bath seat. And I love this one. It's got obviously the suction bits on the bottom, so it stays in place in the bath. Um, that's just a little like toy for baby to play with. And then it also, so once it's suctioned in place, the seat spins round. Um, so it makes it easy for, for you to get baby in and out of the bath. And also um, it could be like a fun game. So you can spin baby around in the bath and they love it. Um, I would say we did try this a few times. He's not sitting up yet, he's only rolling. So this would be a bit easier to use once they are sitting up. So maybe like from like five months onwards. Um, but he's kind of in between the two at the moment. So sometimes we'll put him in this, but like I said, it will be easier once he is sitting up. But this is the Safety First Swivel Bar Seat and it was £16.95. If you just pop it into Google, it will come up with loads of websites that sell it at slightly different prices. So definitely shop around. Um, but yeah, I love the fact that this one spins around. We were going to get the um, Angel Care Seat, um, which is like the follow on one from our bath support. But then I saw this and I, like I said, I like the fact it's a 360 swivel seat. Um, so we went for this one, um, but yeah, from like four months upwards is the age they are going to start outgrowing their bath support and you're going to probably want something like this for the next stage up. So next up is any sensory toys. I cannot recommend sensory activities to you enough. So actually from newborn you can start doing sensory activities with baby, but once they get to three months is when they kind of really start to appreciate it. So this again was on one of my... Um, suggestions in my Christmas gift guide video. Um, this is the VTech Crawl and Learn Bright Lights Ball and they sell these in Smith's Toys, a slightly different version because this was a hand-me-down so it's a bit older. Um, they sell this in Smith's Toys for, it's around £15 and you turn it on and it just basically lights up and spins, plays different music, you've got all of these different buttons that you can press and they make different sounds. This is the toy that encouraged him to roll over. I'm sure you can get other things that are similar, but we love this one. You pop it on the floor and it like moves around on its own, so baby will follow it. And when he was about, so he's 18 weeks old now, when he was about six, 15, 16 weeks old, I put this on the floor for ages, and eventually, after about an hour or so, he did roll over. So I will always just put this slightly out of his reach and he watches it, and then it will encourage him to roll towards it. So obviously at four months old, that's the age that baby's probably going to start thinking about wanting to roll over. Um, so this is a really, really good toy to get um, and it's not very expensive either. And this will also last them um, until they're, they're like a couple of years old and when they're crawling, they can go after it. I just think it's a brilliant all round toy and I would definitely, definitely recommend it. So then next on my sensory toys list is a sensory bag. These are an essential in my opinion because they have so many different um, things in. So you've got so many just like basic toys here for not very much money. I think you can get these bags for around £10 and I I bought these vision cards separately but they are one of the activities I do with him. There's a foil blanket in there, there's a chiffon scarf for like peekaboo games which are really good um, for their development. There's like a little egg that rattles, um, there's a light up ball, there's ribbons, there's all sorts of stuff in there. And this one was from Busy Baby Sensory. And there's so many different things that you can do with all of these toys. We go to sensory classes every week, so that gives me quite a few ideas. 
but um, if you just go on YouTube, there's like different sensory activities that you can watch and do with baby. And these little things don't look like very much, but honestly, these are the most played with items in his toy basket. So some kind of sensory bag or sensory box, um, even younger than three months, you could buy this and I would highly recommend it. And then lastly on the sensory toys, I got these the other day. These are maracas, but also, they light up and they flash different colours and there's three different um, flashing speeds on there as well and I can't recommend these enough, he is obsessed with them. Um, these were £8.95 on eBay from a company called Glow House. If you want me to send you the link just drop me a DM on Instagram or comment down below and I can send it over to you. But these are a great addition to have if you are wanting to add to your sensory box that you've started building already or you're looking to sort of start making your own sensory box with like little bits and bobs in. These are great for playtime, you just pop some music on, do the actions to the nursery rhyme with these. Um, and baby will love them. I've just find at this age, from probably like about 12 weeks old, they love anything that plays music and flashes. So any toys like that, you literally can't go wrong. So the next thing on my list um, is something that is probably good from like three, four months of age, and it will also last you for quite a while, so probably longer than six months. Um, so it is worth investing in one of these. At this age, when baby gets to about three to four months, they are wanting to be sat up more, but obviously they are yet to be able to sit up on their own. So they do get a bit frustrated. They don't want to be lying down all the time. Um, so this is a brilliant support, which means that they can sit up on their own. This is the Mamas and Puppies um, seat, and it's like a Bumbo style seat. So the tray does come off as well, so they can just have it without the tray. And then also this toy bit here, comes off the tray so um, it can double up as like a little high chair so if you're going out to eat in the evening you'll find at this stage the baby won't just sleep through your dinner anymore um, saying that we are in lockdown so I don't know when we're going to be able to do that again but still um, I find that Joel doesn't sleep if we go out to eat anymore and he wants to like be sat up and looking around so I've ended up having to sit there and hold him whilst trying to enjoy my meal that I've bought um, so the, this would be brilliant if you are going out to eat as well. You can just pop baby in it. It's not very big. It's, it's very, very light to carry around. Um, also, I put this on the kitchen side when I'm making his bottles or making dinner and he'll just sit there and watch me. And um, it's nice for them to sort of be involved and be able to watch what you're doing without being sort of low down on the floor in a bouncer chair. So I would really recommend one of these. Um, this is from Mamas and Puppies and it was £49. Um, but you can pick them up secondhand on Facebook Marketplace as well. And I think they come in, they do come in a grey version as well, but when I was looking, they were actually sold out. So I had to go for the navy. Um, but I really, really like this and it will be something that he can use for a long time. And then the last thing on my list is his jumperoo. So a couple of weeks ago, we finally decided to get him a jumperoo a little bit early. It's kind of like an early Christmas present. Um, we have gone for the Fisher Price Space Saver Jumperoo. Again, that is mentioned in my part two of my baby Christmas gift guide because it would make a brilliant Christmas present if your baby is approaching that sort of age. So this retails for around 80 to 90 pounds and it's on Amazon and a couple of other websites as well if you just pop it into Google. So like I said, it's the Fisher Price Space Saver Jumperoo. And we liked this one because they are, I struggled to find a neutral coloured jumperoo and I thought it's not really fair on him, he needs some colour because his baby swing is grey, a lot of his stuff is grey because I like them to match the house. Um, so this will be to eventually replace his baby swing, but I didn't want like a big bright plastic toy in the corner of my living room permanently. So this folds up so small, it can be stored behind the door, behind the sofa, um, it's literally so flat. If you check out part two of my Christmas gift guide, I show it there all folded up. Um, but he loves it. He hasn't quite got the hang of bouncing yet. When he gets a little bit bigger, he will do, and probably when he can sit up and his back's a bit stronger. But even if they can't sit up yet, you can put baby in there because they're supportive enough to hold baby upright. It's got flashing lights and it plays music. It's got like a toy bar that goes overhead that he can hit. Um, so yeah, a jumperoo, I would highly recommend. It's just, again, going back to the seat, they do want to be sat up and looking around more rather than like he gets a bit bored in his baby swing now. So we've kept it 
We're gonna put it away when we put the Christmas tree up. So we kept it out for now, purely because I'm not ready to pack it away and it is handy just to pop him in if I'm running out to the car um, to get his pram out or something like that. Um, but he is in between the kind of swing and the jumperoo at the moment. But eventually the jumperoo will completely replace his baby swing um, and I would definitely recommend getting one babies can have so much fun in them and they will last for quite a while as well so I'm just gonna pop like a little clip of him in his jumperoo because he is obsessed with it and this will keep him entertained for like a good 20 minutes <laughs> So that is everything on my three to six month baby essentials list. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, I would be so grateful if you could do so down below and give this video a little thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.